y'all it's danielle i'm back with another unboxing slash cold review uh obviously this one is from the a vendor called super tarts uh the super tarts team is made up of uh a few people o the owner the primary owner's name is brandy williams her husband brady and she just hired help on um and her name's Esther, and then I think it's Alicia or Alicia. She does the Sassy Soaps, so that's the bath and body products that are offered um, throughout clamshell openings and other openings. Um, and they do the sugar scrubs, the body butters, and recently they've just announced that they're gonna start doing like um, a body lotion, like a thinner lotion in comparison to the body butter. So I'm super excited about that. Um, <clears throat> I ordered this on the 16th, of last month I believe um, yeah the 16th of last month so it's been about you know roughly about a month um, a little longer than that which is excellent for um, the fact that if you guys don't know anything about super tarts or you're not familiar with super tarts um, the way that Brandy does her openings is uh, she has a website I'll put all that information down below for you her Facebook page, all of that, I'll put down below. Um, but how it works is she opens up her website for three days. Um, in those three days, you can order as much as you want, as little as you want. It's completely unlimited, um, which I absolutely love. Um, it's such a stress-free, wonderful shopping experience. Like for me, guys, and I don't know if it's just me, and please tell me if I'm just like cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, but I feel like wax is a hobby it's something enjoyable. It's something that brings joy to people. It, it activates memories, you know, past memories. I mean, it, it allows, you know, you can smell a scent and it'll take you back. Like it transports you back to a time that was amazing to you. And I think, you know, a lot of people don't look at wax that way, but you know, I, I think it's relaxing, soothing. I mean, so to me, when there's negative, you know, emotions, being associated with that and and what i mean by that is you know when there's restocks that are because there are certain vendors out there that you know do the restocks they put the products on you know their website or whatever and it's it's gone in 10 minutes and you know i feel like that's so stressful i feel that that takes the fun and joy out of buying wax to begin with i feel like you know shopping for women for the most part is like a stress reliever i know for me it is at least um and it's something that brings me joy and happiness. And, you know, I don't think that it should be, you know, associated with any type of negative emotions because that takes the whole purpose out of it, in my opinion, uh, to the reason why you're buying the wax. And, you know, it's supposed to be an enjoying, pleasurable experience all around. So for me, that she does the unlimited ordering, I mean, that is that is something that's so close to my heart. And I love that about Brandy. Um, you know, Brandy and Super Tarts is my number one vendor. I mean, I will... I gladly admit that that's my personal opinion my thoughts all of these guys you know this um that i love her she's in that number one spot and it would be very hard for somebody to come along and bump her out of that i mean she has so much going on for her that i love um you know her business model of how she sells her products um not only does she sell the clamshells once a month but she's also have incorporated the BAM bars once a month, uh, multiple samplers. I mean, she has gotten so big in the last year and a half, it's un it's unreal. I mean, and I am so happy for her. You know, she's so appreciative. In any update video or any video that she ever does, she is like just over the moon with the thank yous and, and thank you guys, you guys are wonderful. I have the best customers. And like, I love to hear that. Like, I think we all do. Because the customers is what makes your business in the wax world. I mean, let's be honest here. So, you know, your main objective is to make the customer happy, in my opinion, you know? Um, so, and Brandy does that and goes well above and beyond. Now, Brandy's scent list is very extensive um, and they're all blends. You know how some vendors offer just basic scents like a sugar cookie scent or, Brandy doesn't do that. She offers blends and they're her personal blends uh, specific to her, unique to her that I feel can't be duplicated because they are so different and they are so specific to her. Um, 
but each clamshell opening she has anywhere available from 20 to 25 cents available uh, to purchase when she does open um, prior to the opening she puts up a post uh, like a poll um, and we get to vote on what are our favorite scents and she takes the top five from that and then we vote on that and then she incorporates those five into the restock which guys that's awesome like that just is one step further that shows me that she appreciates us that she listens to us and that she wants to please us like and you know yeah a lot of vendors do something very similar but I feel like they don't really take in, in into heart and apply the things that we are possibly asking of like scents or whatever uh, and I hate to compare vendors I'm not that type of person I'm not going to do that um, because I'm not going to bash any vendor that's not that's not what uh, my goal is in any of these videos um, I always want to stay positive and I want to bring a positive experience for you guys as you know wa watching it so um, don't take it as I'm complaining about any other vendor. I'm not talking about anybody specifically. Let me just throw that out there. I just, I idolize and respect Brandy so much for her business model and what she does. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and jump in. Um, now, shh, the packaging, beautiful as always. Um, wonderful as always. Um, I went ahead and opened it. Uh, there was tissue paper. Uh, my invoice laying right on top. Packaging peanuts. Um, and then all the clamshells packaged very nicely. Um, she includes the invoice, like I said, right on top. And it's just like any other invoice, guys. Um, she includes her business card right here. Um, and the, I love her business card. Reason being, she's got a picture of some of her clammies on the back. And I love that. Sorry, guys, it won't zoom in better. Um, and then she includes, which I love, 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 love. I can't stress enough. I wish more vendors did this. A scent description. Um, of all the scents that are listed and available in that current right restock and she anytime you order from her unless it's bam bars you're getting you know a scent description list and I love that I keep all these for my personal reference I, I put them in a notebook tape them up and keep them for my uh, personal reference um, so all right guys I'm gonna this is was a fairly bigger order for me I took a lot of the extras out because I bought extras of a lot of these different scents so um, she does include a sample um, she does include candy too my daughter snatched that already um, but usually the samples are over poor scents um, so she just throws them in and we're not sure what they are but this this time around she um, put out this and uh, told us before this restock that this is a new scent that would be offered in the future. I'm not sure when, um, but it is called 007. And I'm super excited about this one, guys. Um, it is a blend, a sexy blend of classic tuxedo, $100 bills, and golden amber. Now, that's definitely a, a, a brandy blend. Like, I hear that, that's brandy all the way. Um, and I'm not sure what $100 bills are supposed to smell like. I'm not sure what a tuxedo smell like, but oh my goodness. This smells like, like a sexy man. Like a, a guy that just got out of the shower and he's just like hot and like, oh, just yummy looking. Like, ugh. and this is like his aftershave with a mix of that fresh, like just stepped out of the shower smell. You know, you can even like interpret this. And I know I'm getting a little imaginative on you guys and I apologize, but like 007 makes me think of like mobsters and stuff, guns, violence, drugs, um, that this reminds me kind of the mobster, the big guy, the leader of them all sitting behind uh, the desk in his big black leather chair, smoking a Cuban cigar, drinking his little glass of whiskey. This is what his office would smell like. He would smell like. It's good guys, it's really good. Um, it's manly. Um, I can't pick out anything distinctively. There's nothing I can compare this to. That's what I mean when I say her scents are so specific to her. Um, I can't even compare this to anything because I've never smelled anything like this. Um, the best thing I can give you guys is it, it's a cologne scent and it's amazing. Um, it's got a subtle sweetness to it. Oh my gosh, like, oh, I could huff the bag forever. It kind of reminds me too and I would never tell my hubby this but like Magic Mike like Channing Tatum oh my god he is like my obsession he is sexy and I think he would smell like this let's put it that way ladies 
So um, if she's offering this, grab it. Just grab it. Even if you don't like cologne scents, grab it. Because I don't like cologne scents, and this is amazing. All right. Um, excuse me, guys. I'm going to just hop right in. Um, the first clamshell um, I got, and these are uh, $3.90 a piece. <clears throat> first one I got is Go to Sleep, and look how adorable her, her little labels are. How cute are those? How unique are those? She makes all these labels. These are custom that she makes herself for all of her clamshells. And this is um, probably, I would say, one of the scents she's most known for. Um, it is my favorite of all time lavender scent, bedtime scent. I mean, there's nothing that comes close to this. This will always be my favorite. Um, and it is a, it says on the scent description, perfect for relaxing bedtime. We combined our very best pink sugar blend with our sweet lavender cream, pink sugar blend. Um, now I just thought this was just pink sugar and sweet cr lavender cream, but it does say pink sugar blend. So I'm not sure what that's about. I'm not sure what the pink sugar blend is, but let me tell you something. This is amazing. And here's the front. How cute, right? And all, each one of the clammies have a different design. She puts them all different. They're all individual, and I love that. She's so artistic. Um, she's such an artist when it comes to wax. Like, this is her passion, and you can see it through her work. Um, off the bat, you definitely get the sweet lavender, and it's sweet. It's luscious. It's creamy. And then you get the pink sugar, and her pink sugar is different from a lot of vendors. It's, it's, it's a very uh, light, um, sweeter, girlier pink sugar. Um, a lot of pink sugars kind of give off that perfumey vibe. Hers doesn't at all. It is one of the better pink sugars I've, I've had, and it pairs perfectly with this lavender. My definition of a perfect lavender is this one right here. If you, Even if you guys are not a lavender fan, trust me, buy this. This will convert you. It's what converted me to lavender, and now I'm head over heels in love with lavender because of her and her, her blend. And this is just amazing. It's a sweet, yummy, relaxing, comforting scent. It reminds me of just my boyfriend giving me a hug. Just that comfort feeling um, of just, I mean, that's that's the best way to describe it. <laughs> All right, next is, um, this is from her Twilight. Um, and this is Bella's Blood. She has all kinds of different categories, guys. And I'm not going to take each individual one out, but... You can see that she does layer them, um, and they're decorated throughout the whole thing. Like, and this is a blend of pomegranate, mac apple, and sweet lolly. Um, this easily is in my top five favorites from her. This is amazing. Um, you definitely get the mac apple off the top, and because it's so crisp and so um, tart, you get that off the bat. Um, then you get the pomegranate, and it brings in that freshness and that juiciness and Oh my goodness, like it reminds me of biting into an apple. Um, like, you know, like when you guys, I don't know if, if it's just me or Westward or anything, but um, when you cut into an apple, like a green apple, I put sugar and salt on mine. That's what this kind of reminds me of. Because you get that slight, ever, just slight bit of tartness, um, but the sweet lolly brings it all together. I'm assuming it's a lollipop, so. And it just adds an amazing freshness to, to, to that, the sweet lolly. I, it brings that sweetness all around. It, it just, ugh, I could smell this all day, every day. It's one of those scents that I literally could burn every day, all day, because it's that good. This is definitely Bambar worthy. And you can hear my little two-year-old running around. Elian, are you gonna say hi? The next one is, well, I guess she's not wanting to say hi tonight. Okay, my, my fiance is back there. Um, He's signing it, whatever he's doing. Okay, the next one is uh, Son of Odin. He doesn't ever want to be in these videos. I've offered. He doesn't want to. I've tried. He doesn't get into this very much. But let me tell you something. The last time I got super tarts, he went on his own and sniffed them on his own. There's my daughter upside down. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, sorry, guys. That's my crazy two-year-old for you. Uh, and... Um, He's a big kid himself, as if you couldn't see. <laughs> but anyway, um, this is, yeah, Son of Odin. This is a new scent that she brought this restock, um, and it's beautiful. It's got the tree, and this is um, a pomegranate sugar cookie and a fresh-picked strawberry scent. 
And when I first heard of this, I knew I'd love this. Um, I bought multiples of this because I knew I'd like this very much. Um, Brandy strawberry is very specific to her. Um, if you put like four different, five different strawberries from different vendors out on the table and told me, smell them and pick out brandies, I could do it because it's so specific to her. Hers is a realistic strawberry and I love that. It's, it, it's more of a tartar strawberry than sweet and that's what you get off the bat, you get that. Um, you definitely get um, the pomegranate as well. Oh my gosh, and it just adds a fresh note. I mean, it, it really elevates that strawberry and brings it more to life, I feel. And then you definitely get the sugar cookie note, which I think is nuts. Like, sugar cookie is one of those things I feel like is just a sweetener, that it just adds sweetener to it. And I never really smell it, but I smell it in this. Like, I smell the cookie bakery scent. And it just, it, it works perfectly together. Like, again, Brandy's a master blender. This is amazing, and I can imagine that there's going to be big raves and reviews about this people are going to love this okay next is black widow um and when i seen this i was over the moon excited um for one reason and one reason only um one black widow love her but beyond that i had received or bought um a, a clamshell from a local um grocery store to me uh that was uh the scent peonies I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, guys, but this is a blend. Let me start off by saying this is a blend of sweet blackberry um, and pink peony. I Guys, it's a floral note. I'm sorry. I don't know how to pronounce it, um, but I got a clamshell on that from, you know, a local grocery store and fell in love with it. I went back to go purchase more. They were all gone. I was so sad. It was one of the most soft, uh, sweet smelling girly floral notes that I had ever smelled was that and I had never found anything beyond that even compared to that or even that scent and so when I seen this I was like oh my gosh that is the closest I'm gonna get to that this is even better this is bam bar worthy I could buy tons and tons and tons and tons of wax in this scent and just roll in it like it's that good like it is like like you could use it i mean like it, it reminds me of a perfume even um off the top it's it's you get the definite it's not a i don't want to say it's floral because to me it doesn't smell floral because it's blended so well with the blackberry it's just a sweet subtle soft delicate oh my gosh smell like uh, the blackberry you definitely smell too but it's it's very subtle i mean the 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 flower scent takes the dominant but then you get that sweet blackberry coming in, just sprinkling over it, and it works beautifully. Like, I I can't get enough at this scent. I can't tell you guys enough that even if you're not into floral, because the only floral I usually go for is, like, rose. And it has to be dolled down a lot with, like, lemon or something blended with it. I can't do it on its own, you know what I mean? But this is one of those ones that I will forever have in my stock. It's that amazing, that good. I wish I would have purchased multiples of it. Okay, <clears throat> next is Iceberry Tea. And this is a blend of Vanilla Bean Noel, our house sweet berry fragrance and white tea. Now, when I first got into the wax world and started purchasing from Brandy, I, I did purchase this. Um, and I didn't give it a fair shot. I de-stashed it right away. I didn't think I gave it a fair shot. So I went ahead and repurchased it this time to give it another shot. Um, Cause since then I've fallen in love. Ooh, sorry guys. Um, there's a strawberry imprint on there. This video is just a hot mess, I apologize. Um, but yeah, you see that it's two-tone too. But I didn't give it a big, I, I feel like a, a, you know, a fair shot. Um, and since then, like I said, I've fallen in love with tea scents, all tea scents. Um, and what I get from this off the top is that tea note. Um, and most white tea scents that I've experienced is usually like floral, even borderline herbally smelling from a lot of different vendors. I don't get that at all from this. Her white tea is a more crisp tea. And it's not a tea that you can compare to like an iced tea. It has no lemon, nothing like that. It's just a crisp, uh, more of a fresh smell. I mean, that's all I can compare it to. Um, yeah, it has a titch of like floral to it, but it's very, very subtle. Um, and then you get the berry. And the berry is a very different berry scent, something that I'm not used to. Um, and I don't know if it's just mixing differently and weird for me with the white tea, because usually any berry scent with that white tea scent is amazing. Um, it's very sweet, 
the berry scent. I just feel it's 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 very bizarre smelling. I I but I'm going to definitely give it a try before I destash if I destash at all because I didn't give it a fair shot the first time because I didn't burn any melt any and I'm gonna do it this time. So and it's not like I hate it, but it's not an absolute love for me. So um, let's I, I guess um, we'll see how that turns out, and I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, next is probably one of my favorites of the order besides uh, Black Widow, and this is Doctor Who. This is a scent I've never had before. That it's not a new scent. Um, Brandy's had this scent for quite some time, um, and it's a blend of red Rubo's tea, shortbread cookies and creamy custard minus the fish sticks. So I'm not a big Doctor Who fan. I know guys, shoot me now, I know. Um, I heard it's excellent. Um, I've never seen it though, so. But it's got like the little tower. Um, if that'll zoom in. And it's amazing. Like this scent is beyond the stars amazing. Like I'm not sure what red Rubo's tea smells like on its own. Never had it before, but let me tell you something. You primarily get the sh uh, shortbread cookie and the creamy custard. They work together. It's more of like a butter cookie scent, if anything. And um, okay, you almost landed on your head. Be careful. Um, she's playing with a ball. <laughs> My daughter. Um, you almost get like. Yeah, borderline butter cookie scent, but it's a beautiful cookie scent all around. Um, and that creaminess from the custard works perfectly like that. It's such a creamy, rich, not heavy scent, and then you get the tea scent, and it comes in just ever so slightly in the background. This is probably one of the most well-blended tea scents I've ever smelled. I mean, in, in all honesty, oh my gosh. Like, the tea, it's sweet, too. Like, it's a sweet tea. It's... It, and I don't know, like, because I, I can't imagine, like, the creamy custard being sweet. I would think that's, like, a whipped cream scent because that's what I'm kind of picking up on, like, a whipped cream, creamy, fresh kind of. Oh, it's just amazing. I can't rave enough about that one either. Okay, next is one of uh, my favorite scents from her. Um, I have a lot of favorites, but this is in my top five from her. Um, and this is Lost Boys and um a lot of people rave about this this is beyond the moon this this is fall wrapped up in a in a little baby clamshell for me this is what fall should smell like to me um and it's a mix of pomegranate fresh apple cider and toasted marshmallow and it's just yeah it's <laughs> it's indescribably good like that's how good it is um the apple cider you get off the bat it's it's a very fresh crisp apple cider very sweet though um, if you go to the grocery store around, you know, Halloween time and you grab, you know, a gallon of the apple cider, this is what it smells like, but better. Uh, the toasted marshmallow adds a creamy element to it and just elevates it even more. Oh my gosh. And the pomegranate just adds more of that freshness to the apple. And it is just overall one of those scents that is to die for. It really is. Um, and I was so happy to see it in this restock because I've been begging, begging for this for so, so long. And I had just melt, melted the last of my clamshell that I was hoarding from last Halloween recently. So when I seen this, I was like, yes, yes, yes. Okay, next. Guys, I'm sorry about the long video. I should have warned you in advance. Um, it, it is kind of a big order. So I'm trying to get through it quickly for you guys. Uh, next is skinny dipping. And this is one that it was uh, from her jaw sampler. Look at that. Brandy, I see what you're doing there. I see a little butt cheek. I love it. She's she's off the wall. I love it. That's a shout out to you, Brandy. That is awesome. Um, but anywho, um, yeah, this was from her jaw sampler. I guess this was one of the favorites. It was not my personal favorite from the jaw sampler. Um, Get Out of Water was my personal favorite. And then the one that has lemon curd in it was also my favorite. Um, but this is a mix of Jaws and Passion Fruit. Now, Jaws is a spa-like scent. Um, she didn't put the description on here. Um, but from my memory, I know it's like uh, a s sliced pop plum, sweet pear, uh, sea salt, or, or sea grass and sea salt. It's just a very, not aquatic scent, but it, it's, it's a watery spa-like scent to me. And it's what converted me to liking the clean, fresh scents that scent right there. Um, so that mixed with passion fruit. Passion fruit for me smells very tropical. It's one of those scents that I'm not the biggest fan of on its own. I've smelled it on its own. I really don't like it on its own, but mixed in this, it's not, it's, it, it it's definitely a lot better. Um, 
but like I said, for some reason, um, it smells a little different from the, the sunshot that I, I had melted. That was the same scent that I've got in the sampler. And for some reason, it could be my nose acting up. You guys know I'm, I'm you know, pregnant, so it could be that, but it does, it does smell a little different, but you do get the, the passion fruit, but it, it, it's very subtle. You, it's more of the jaws coming out right and dominant. And then the passion fruit is just that, you know, tropical smelling, fruity, juicy scent. Um, but like, also I'd like to add like with a lot of her scents too, just because you're not smelling um, something off the bat in her scents or in her blends, that doesn't mean anything. Guys, on cold, sometimes you're not, especially with her wax, because it is a harder wax, um, you're not going to pick up every note. When you warm it, like, you get everything in it. it. It's a whole new level. Like, so don't knock something until you burn it. I've learned that. Like, melt it and then see if you don't like it. Because sometimes, like, I could absolutely hate a scent because of just my personal preference and then burn it and, like, love it. I've That's happened to me so many times with brandy, so... Um, just know that guys. Also, I'm gonna add that I do use a 24 watt hot plate. That's what she suggests with her wax. I mean, it's right on her website. That's what she tells people to use to get the best results and best performance. Um, I have also melted her wax in my 20 watt Glad uh, and my tea light warmer. All have given me excellent results. Like, like another thing and another reason why I love Brandy, consistency. Like her wax always throws from, you know, a high seven to even sometimes a 10, like mainly a seven, eight range is what I'm getting. You know, usually the higher eights um, in terms of cold and hot throw um, and then length, I'm usually getting anywhere from six hours to 10 hours. I've even gotten like a full 24 hours one time out of one, one, one little cube. That's all you guys have to use. So like, I love that this can stretch so far. Like if you use one cube, that's how many, that's six, different times you can burn the scent. So for me, like, you're getting the bang for your buck with her, for sure. Okay, the next scent is Saved by the Bell. And I absolutely Saved by the Bell. I used to watch it every morning, every single morning before I went to high school. And there's a cheerleader on the front. And this is a blend of Black Cherry and 7-Up Pound Cake. I had had this previously and wasn't the biggest fan of it. Um, I did like it. Um, since then, I really love it. <laughs> I mean, I'm not usually into cherry scents, but this is a very juicy, I mean, beyond. Like, if you would just bite into a cherry right now, oh my gosh, like that, just that, oh, that's what it smells like. And then you get the, like, little fizzy note from the 7-Up. I know that sounds weird, but that's what I'm getting. And then the pound cake, you definitely get that bakery, heavy, creamy, rich, cakey smell. Mm, and it just dulls down the, the, the cherry a little bit because cherry is a very dominant scent and it's just works amazingly together. It's a beautiful scent and I wish I would have purchased more of it. All right. Next is 28 Days Later. This was offered also last year during, you know, fall Halloween and it, it hadn't made an appearance since then. So this was another favorite of mine from that restock. Um, and I was super excited to see that as well because this was another one I've been begging for her to bring back. And this is a blend of Blueberry Pumpkin Patch, <clears throat> um, Cranberry Preserves, and Cake Batter, and Vanilla Ice Cream. Sorry, I had to look at the description. Um, and then you get the little... And off the bat, you get the Cranberry Preserves. And I know this scent sounds off the wall. It doesn't sound something that even smells good. But let me tell you guys, it's amazing. It's very unique, very different, and I love it. Um, but yeah, you get the Cranberry Preserves. And it is tart, the Cranberry. But it then you get the Blueberry underneath of it that sweetens it up a bit. Um, you get the pumpkin patch. It's it's there as well as a heavy bakery scent because that's what I smell second to the cranberry preserves. And then, oh my gosh, yeah. It's just one that I love. Mm. And then I'm sure the vanilla ice cream and cake batter is just adding that sweet note. You want to smell too, baby? Go ahead. She loves it. She says she likes that one. But this is definitely, definitely one of my faves. Um, this is probably my third favorite from this order. I'd never had this one before. This is uh, Finn and Jake from Adventure Time Melts. And this is two-tone. She's fine, babe. Um, and this is a blend of zesty grapefruit and uh, pink sugar crystals. And here is the, it says Radical Boy. And it's amazing. 
it's absolutely freaking amazing. Like I've had uh, a grapefruit pink sugar blend before from other vendors. This <laughs> it doesn't even compare to this. This is the best I've ever had it. Um, off the bat, you get the grapefruit. I mean, grapefruit's one of those crisp, very cutthroat, like kind of borderline citrusy scents for me. Um, and that's what you smell. And then the pink sugar comes right behind that, softens that up a little bit and sweetens it up. And it's a beautiful mixture together. It's that citrus and pink sugar together. Always smell good. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. And I only got one of those, so I am going to be in desperate search of more. Um, I should have bought more. I was silly not to. I know better. I've learned from the past now to order two of everything. Even if it sounds like something I don't want, just buy two of it because I just know better now. Um, last but not least is Mama's Family. And guys, when I seen that she was going to do a Mama's Family, oh my gosh, I watched this show all the time when I was younger. I didn't think anybody else watched it. I thought I was so silly for watching it. Like, I'm, you know, I thought when I was watching it, like, oh, old ladies watch this. And, you know, I <laughs> I just thought, you know, I, but I love it. And I, I haven't seen it in years, so I really, I don't even know if it's still on TV. I mean, you guys will have to let me know. And if so, what channel is it on? Because I want to watch it. Um, but this is a blend. Um, I kind of went out on a limb. Um, I usually don't go down the route of what is in this. This is Blackberry Jam Gain Laundry Type, and that's where I'm not a fan of it, um, and Lemon Curd. I'm not a fan of laundry scents, but Blackberry Jam and Lemon Curd together smell amazing. I love that blend. So I said, you know what? If those are more dominant, it might it might work. If, it, if the laundry scent is very subtle, it might work for me. Um, and this is the front. And off the bat, it smells weird to me. like. It smells like some type of food. And I have to be honest with you. Like, I don't know. Like, it's just, it, it's a really, a scent that turns me off really, really greatly. And it might be that gay laundry scent. But, um, I definitely smell the lemon curd in it. I don't get much of the blackberry jam. But, I think probably it's that gay laundry scent. But to me, I really don't like it. Um, and I'll be de, de that. And that's just because I don't like laundry scents. It has nothing to do with the scent itself. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just, I, you know, when Anna Lynn tried to try something different, that just didn't work out for me. So that's it, guys. I know the video was a little bit longer. I apologize. I can't apologize enough. Um, but I wanted to get through it and show you guys. Um, because I think that she is still open for ordering right now, if I'm not mistaken. So get in there and get your orders. I think she's shutting down either... Um, in the really early in the morning Friday or um, which it is Friday now I've done this video a little late guys but um, get in there and order if you can honestly and just try try things out of your comfort zone you will be pleasantly surprised um, but that's it guys I hope you have a good night see you next time